This is Joaquin Yap, Professor of Physics at Michigan Technological University. My research group focuses a lot on developing nanomaterials for interesting applications that is unable to do so by conventional materials. Which means um, in case some of these nanomaterials will be widely used in commercial products, somehow they will contaminate the earth, the environment. And eventually not just the air pollution, they will all wash down to river and lakes and contaminate our drinking water. How are we going to clean them up? So this is kind of a responsible research. You met with Dr. Tong Yen Zhang, she's my research professor, and then you met with one of my graduate students, his name is uh, Vishnu Tiwari. So what they did is that they simulate a contaminated water. So you can see that they become a milky water when they shake it in, in a glass vial. And then they, after, they, they are trying to clean them up. So they put a layer of kitchen oil, cooking oil, and also they put a layer, or alternatively, they put a layer of the so-called vacuum palm oil, which is a scientific product for vacuum palm. And then they put another organic solvent called hexane. So they put them on top and they are lighter than water, so they float on top of the milky water. And then later they try to extract the nanomaterials. So what they do is they just cap the wire and then they hand shake it for one minute. Hand shaking process, emulsion happen between water and the organic layers. Let the emulsion to rest for a few hours to one day. Hexane is very fast. They can start to separate to two phases in three, four hours or even one hour. Oil will take longer time. They take one day to settle down to two layers. After the emulsion phase separated to back to organic and water phases again, you will start to see that the water layer become clear. No more nanomaterials. And all the nanomaterials, that's precisely correct. Almost 100% of the nanomaterials initially in the water now get attracted to the oil phase or the organic phase. That's how we purify the water. Important for the younger generation to learn to be responsible to the earth, to the environment. Not besides doing science and engineering, we have to be think we have to be more thoughtful about what is the consequence of this technology.